beauties and welcome on my channel. Today we will review the Ordinary Foundation and as you may know or not I am a huge fan of the Ordinary products and they mainly cure my acne which I am really grateful for and today I will review the Coverage Foundation because I already reviewed the Serum Foundation throughout the summer and I was so super happy from that foundation so you can check it here if you're interested but it was during the summer. Now my skin needs a little bit more of a coverage because well there is a lot to cover because this girl has some hormonal issue or something I was often on pills and that is why my skin is a bit sad so that is why I purchased this coverage foundation that I will be testing today I'll put it on my face now and then I will record myself throughout the day to let you know how the foundation is looking like so before we move on to the video, I would like to kindly ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell so you can be notified about basically everything I'm doing. Without further ado, let's move on to the video. So I went for the color 2.0 P coverage and this is light medium with pink undertones and my previous one was 2.1 P and that is why now I went for 2.0 because obviously it's winter and I'm not as tanned as I was throughout the summer and this foundation is obviously vegan it's cruelty free and I think this one contains a bit of water and silicone but of course it is paraben free and all the other nasty things free and the price is 5.90 which is insane it's less than six pounds for the foundation that will last at least six months that is more or less how long I was wearing the previous foundation obviously I'm not the person who's wearing makeup every single day but if you do then it will last for maybe three to four months which still it makes it one of the most affordable foundation ever and I really like the packaging and this foundation has SPF 15 inside which of course SPF 15 is not enough to survive the whole day but if we will put the sunscreen underneath and then we will put this foundation on top, we will just have this extra boost of protection. So let's open the package. Dum, 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 dum. And this is how the foundation looks like. As you can see, the bottle is not really big. It is um, 30 milliliters. But judging by the previous one, it will really last for a pretty long time. And here the package is really matte and, you know, it's just very nice and aesthetic. And it just look really good on your shelf. So let's see the color. So I will just pump, pump it here. Um, okay, how do I... Oh, I remember before I also had issue with opening this. Okay, maybe like this. Yeah, so I'm just going to pump it. Okay. So that's a little bit of this. Oh, this foundation is super watery. And as you can see, I just put one drop and I can genuinely cover my whole hand. And I think the color is pretty much the same as my faces. And even though it looks very oily, it doesn't contain any oil, which is good for the acne prone skin, combination skin and oily skin, but also for the um, dry and sensitive skin as well. So let's just put this foundation on my face and see how it's behaving. I'm not a makeup artist, so if I will apply it wrong, then let me know in the comment down below because I'm not really great at putting makeup on me. Um, but I just have my beauty blender with me, which, well, I, well, I actually washed it last week, so it's not that bad. And then I will just put a few drops on my face and then we will see how the foundation is looking like. I don't understand why you're Okay, so the foundation is on me, now I will use a beauty blender and just blend it all in. So the first minus I already see and I know from the experience is that the packaging is not really great and it's just getting dirty all around, which is I'm, I'm not a fan of. Okay, so as for now, it looks really, really good. My skin in this area already looks so much healthier but let's see how it's gonna be 
in the end. Okay, so the foundation is on and to be fair, I'm not really sure if it's like the super extra coverage because I actually had to put a little bit more on my forehead area because it wasn't covering the pimples that I have here at all. Although the rest of my face looks pretty well and it looks really healthy. Obviously, I don't have anything else on my face. That's why I look a bit weird. But in general, I'm happy. It was really easy to apply and my face looks pretty glowy and healthy. It's not like with the those like really heavy foundations. So as for the first thing, I will give it like a good 7 out of 10 because I was expecting maybe a little bit more of a coverage um, but still it covers really well and definitely it covers better than the previous um, serum foundation that's for sure because I had a pretty big pimples here and you cannot see it anymore so now I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup and I will see you in a second hi so this is the finish makeup i'll put you here so you can see um so i just went for the powder i also you know do my lashes brush my eyebrows put some bronzer and highlighter and that's it and to be fair i'm not like super happy from this foundation but i'm not disappointed either i would say that it covers well but it's not like a full coverage I was expecting but obviously my face now it's not in the best condition and that is why I expected um, this to cover all of my pimples which didn't happen you cannot see them from far but definitely if you go closer um, you can see but on the other hand because it is not so heavy it still gives you this natural look and it still gives you that glow and this like a look of just a healthier face in general so overall i will give it like a solid maybe yeah as i said before like seven out of ten as for now and now i'm going out and i will be wearing a face mask so let's see how this is going to be and i will let you know in a few hours but as for now it's not bad it's not great because you still can see my pimples but it's not bad either so let's see how it's going to be later on hey so i just came back from a walk it's been like three hours i think since the last time you saw me and now i feel like my skin is finally looking as it's supposed to be it's very natural obviously it's very medium to like yeah let's say medium coverage but i would say like a very low medium but i feel like you know my my skin sort of absorbs the product and now it feels really really good and i've been outside i've been wearing face mask and also it was rainy outside and i haven't got any umbrella and you know the foundation is still there so very good let's see how it's going to be later on but as for now i'm not shiny or oily or anything which is great i'm sorry that i'm looking at the screen but i also look at my face so yeah anyway see you in a few hours again okay guys so this is the last update i've been wearing this foundation for around 12 hours right now and i actually even had an up and i feel like it still looks pretty damn well obviously i mean this pimple is you know visible because it's been visible since almost the beginning but overall my skin is still not extra oily or um extra shiny which i really really appreciate so for the price of six pounds i feel like it is a really good foundation but in my case it's not covering everything and i was sort of expecting it to be a little bit better because this coverage is very similar to the serum foundation and the serum hydration also gives me this sort of yeah <laughs> I would say hydration and it's a bit lighter than this one is but overall pretty good i'm pretty happy let me know what you think of this uh, foundation if you ever use it or if you're planning to use it for the six pounds i feel like it's amazing so if you have any questions don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below and i will see you guys in the next video bye oh also check out my instagram and my tiktok